So, Venom. So I took over Justice League. Not much surprise there. Sickening though, isn't it? Sickening where they took the best heroes the world has ever seen um, when it comes to comic book literature and they made a movie that is just meh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll watch it, I'll continue to watch it, I'll continue to like it. But I'm sad and sickened that it, it just equaled a meh. Well, it should have been a oh god, I've got to see it again. And now the talk about Warner Brothers rearranging things and and the DCU is dead and stuff. Well, while we come to think of a shared universe as as needing a a single consistent continuity. The DC Extended Universe doesn't have to be that. In fact, based on what way that the DCU currently seems to be shaping up, Warner Brothers may be more interesting on focusing on individual superheroes and their families rather than trying to find ways for every movie to cross over and, and connect. In the years since the release of like Iron Man and the first movie in the Marvel Universe, fans have grown accustomed to the idea of the, the shared universe, which is probably it's been basically went everywhere from cinema to TV. Uh, the Walking Dead has its own shared universe. The ongoing shows and free upcoming movie Warner Brothers has also has the MonsterVerse where Titans like King Kong and Godzilla uh, wander the earth. Even the Harry Potter franchise has been rebranded as a Wizarding World to emphasise its identity as a, an entire fictional universe with the arrival of the Fantastic Beast pre prequels. What the DCU has learned, however, is that Trying to maintain a shared universe can be a burden. The movies that have been best received in recent uh, years is like Wonder Woman and Man of Steel. Uh, comparatively, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice uh, was criticised for, for taking random details to look at a teaser clip. Sad no problems with you know but that's how other people see it was this teaser clip of the rest of the Justice League on like Wonder Woman's laptop and Justice League itself proved so underwhelmingly that uh, its box office was recently overtaken by the Venom movie so To Warner Brothers' credit, the studio seems to have realised that for whatever reason, uh, constantly setting up crossovers and team-ups isn't working for the DCU. And pivoted ac accordingly, Sazam references and other DC superheroes through the memorabilia, but otherwise seems to be the entire independent story with a radically different tone to say Batman v Superman. Even more telling is the fact that uh, there's a Joker movie coming out starring Jack Jacqueline Phoenix and and that seems to be on a different timeline than what we've got. Uh, and Jared Leto's Joker movie will be coming out pretty soon, and we proved it except real, but it's still evidence that Warner Brothers is moving away from obsession over connections and focuses and focusing instead of individual movie pitches. 
the DCU can itself uh, can set itself apart by doing what the comics have largely done and breaking down into a collection of small universes that each focus on a different character DC family like the Bat family or Batman, Nightwing, Batgirl and other adjacent characters of Sazam and the Marvel family or the expanse world of Aquaman and the Seven Kingdoms there's there's still potential for future crossovers of course by the but by dividing the DCU up to the smaller sub universes can be allowed to thrive and in a worst case scenario be quarantined from one another so that an individual movie can fail without affecting the larger universe. Warner Brothers has a significant advantage over Marvel Studios at the at the start of the MCU in the sense that DCAU already owns there has a full slate of DC comic characters collected under one roof. By focusing on one individual family, Supergirl and Superman, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey, there's huge potential to build up strong brands with their own individual worlds. And there's more than one way to build a shared universe. So, just hoping.